Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to First Friday Finances with Rita. Rita Stewart, that is. Listen, this month is the first Friday in September. And with September, many different things change as it relates to the children returning back to school, fall begins to set in, etc. And today, what I have on my heart to share with you is a tad bit of tips for educators. Specifically, money matters every teacher needs to know. So for every teacher in your life, everyone who you know who is in the realm of education, this is something you will definitely want to share with them. Teachers, I just simply want to thank you. For that matter, everyone who works in the field of education, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for the minds that you are shaping. I want to thank you for the legacies that you are building. And I want to thank you for how you are inspiring future generations. I actually taught fifth grade for a few years, and I absolutely love the years in the classroom with the students. So now, as relates to your personal finances, a couple of things that I want you to keep in mind in terms of additional options for you to consider as you prepare for your long-term long financial planning. Understanding that each of you, I hope, is taking advantage of whatever retirement planning that is put in place for you with the respective school systems and states that you work within. But also know there's always an opportunity for you to be very diligent and intentional about supplementing whatever is already being put in place for you. So here's some things that I want you to consider and to understand and know that is available to you in addition to what you may already be doing. There are certain accounts called index savings accounts. And as a result of them, it's a way that you are able to position additional funds, put it away where you never have to incur a loss from the volatility of the stock market. So with an index account, as the market goes up, your earnings go up. As the market um, drops, your money locks and holds. You will never have to be concerned about any loss in the market as a result of leveraging in an index savings account. Now, another opportunity is you don't want to have to pay too much in taxes. Of course, some of the accounts you may already have already set up your state, your 403Bs, whatever the case may be, there is a tax implication. But there are also vehicles that are available to you where it can minimize your taxes, okay? Tax-free retirement plans, an opportunity where you can grow additional funds, tax deferred, and where there's an opportunity for when you are ready to take um, possession of the money, distribute the money to yourself, it can be done tax-free. Yes, there are vehicles that are available to you like that where you can use to supplement and enhance your retirement plan. There's also, of course, implements, or excuse me, solutions that you can put in place as to where you can position yourself where your money will never run out. You can actually establish your own personal pension plans, again, to supplement what you already have in place and position that funds so that there will be income coming to you for life. Now, a different thought I want you to consider. We never know if we would or could or when or how or whatever incur a health catastrophe, right? Where we are given a diagnosis that we weren't expected. This is something that could happen while you are still in your working years in school or, or in the classroom, or this is something that could happen when you have finished your work in the classroom and incur a critical chronic or terminal illness. There are solutions that are put in place that can support you where you could have access to additional funding to support you if you were to have a critical chronic or terminal illness in the form of living benefits. Just ask me more questions about that. It never hurts to have a conversation about any of the things that you've heard me reference. The goal is to position teachers to be well, well positioned as a result of the dedication and the heart you have as it relates to serving our children. So the goal here is to help you understand the fact that there is additional planning that you can be doing to support you as you prepare for your long-term saving strategies. And I'm here to help. So if you are an educator, teacher, reach out to me so that I can give you more insight on what some of the solutions are. If there's an educator in your life that you love and care about and want to ensure that they are well positioned from a financial perspective and they are also positioned to leave a legacy for their families, 
and positioned to be able to take care of themselves in their latter years, reach out to me. Rita Stewart, Legacy Financial Wellness, an agency of Five Rings Financial. Blessings to you.